on defense. And Sean Murphy Lady takes the hill for the Bees. And we mentioned he's 1-1 one one on the year with a 1.69 ERA. And he's also going for his second straight win on the year. The 1-0 pitch is in there for a strike. So Travis Whitmore, and we'll get into all his stories with Burlington later on in this game and throughout this series. Hopefully we might be able to talk to him before the third game. 1-1 one, one pitch drilled towards center field, and it gets over Chad Oberacker. It'll bounce up to the center field wall. Oberacker fields it well, though. The relay will come in. Instead, it'll go past the relay man and over to third, and that allows Jace Peterson to get in with a leadoff triple. No balls and two strikes to Miller. Runner at third base. Murphy, wind up and the pitch. Got him looking on the outside corner. Clutch at bat right there for Sean Murphy to strike out Miller looking. Didn't even give him a chance to put the ball in play. This is why I'm not too worried about the leadoff triple, even if the tin cap score here. We've really seen Sean Murphy look sharp this year. It's one thing to have electric stuff in one outing or another. It's another thing to consistently put your pitches where you want them. Granted, he does have about 10 walks this year. The first pitch is cut on and missed by Casey McElroy. But by and large, I believe I've seen Sean Murphy attack the strike zone early, then maybe nibble later. I don't know if he'll admit to it, but he seems to be a guy who really likes his strikeouts. 0-1 pitch. Change up outside, taken for a ball. One ball, one count. To Casey McElroy hitting 3-11 on the year. Does not have a home run in 45 at-bats. Does have eight RBIs. Another changeup, and McElroy reaches for it. Can't touch it. One ball and two strikes. I tell you what, if Sean Murphy can get two straight strikeouts here, that would be huge for the Bees. Again, a runner at third base. Jace Peterson led it off with a triple over Chad Obracker's head in center field. Down. 2-2 pitch. Changeup on the outside corner. Got him looking. Outstanding clutch performance early on by Sean Murphy. And it brings up Travis Whitmore. To Travis Whitmore at the plate. On deck, Dwinell Jones. 1-2 pitch. Fastball got him on the outside corner. A late call by the home plate umpire. But Sean Murphy strikes out the last three batters despite giving up the leadoff triples. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Four straight strikeouts for Sean Murphy. Not as large of a crowd out tonight, but again, rainy and wet weather. 2-2 pitch, cut on and missed. That's it. I'm changing my click to pick to Sean Murphy. Hey, we had 0-2 pitch on its way to Adamson. Down and in. Good for a strike. So that's another punch out for Sean Murphy, and he continues to mow them down. That is his sixth. Of course, you understand that with a full count pitch on its way and a runner in scoring position, only one out, and you're facing the top of the order. Here is a through two pitch. Runner goes, check swing, got him. Throw down to third, and he's safe. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Neither team has scored. The tin caps do have three hits, but he's only with one. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. Foul tipped into the glove, and that strikes him out. And again, Murphy does it with a runner at third for the Bees to face in another team that mixes their lineup with lefties and righties. 1-2 pitch. Cut on and missed. Looked like the slider. Whitmore just caught a piece of it, but it goes right into the... Left high for a ball. He now has his new season high of nine strikeouts. Nine strikeouts. And well, well, now it's three and two-thirds, but really in three and a third. And there's the number 10 strikeout for Sean Murphy. Donovan Tate goes down looking, and we head to the top of the fifth. Well, that's a present that I'm sure he'll happily take for nothing. 2-2 two -two pitch. Cut on and missed. That's the 11th strikeout of the game for Sean Murphy. He's punched out a batter in every inning he's pitched. And that's your farm report brought to you by Gary Roberts Insurance. 1-2 pitch. In there for a strike. Murphy has looked fantastic through six innings. Maybe we'll see him for a seventh. Sean Murphy, still on the hill for the Bees, has one out here in the bottom of the seventh. He now has a runner at second base.
five to nothing the score in the sixth inning for the Lugnuts. One two pitch catches the outside corner and Donovan Tate goes down looking. That's the 13th strikeout of the game for Sean Murphy. And if I'm looking at this correctly, that is the, the seventh time, excuse me, the seventh time today Sean Murphy has struck out a batter with a runner in scoring position. Just outstanding. Cole Antonio has yet to get a hit. One one pitch. Lined, one hopper over to Jamison. He fields it well. Strong throw to first, and Murphy goes seven innings. Strikes out 13 batters. We likely will not see him in the bottom of the eighth, but he had a heck of a game. The Bees lead it three to nothing as we move to the top of the eighth inning. You're listening to Bees Baseball on News Radio 1490, KBUR and KBUR.com. 